Howdy everybody, it's Aaron the Soda Jerk from the SodaJerk.net with a very special soda review. Today's very special soda review, Dr. Pepper, fantastic chocolate. Sorry, Dr. Pepper, fantastic chocolate. Uh, this was purchased using Pepper Points off of the Dr. Pepper website. Um, seems to be a pretty good way to get the limited edition flavors, that way not everyone's bogging down the website at once. You go buy X number of Dr. Peppers to get your Dr. Pepper Pepper Points. And then you cash them in for limited edition drinks. Uh, this, to me, was 10 individual 20-ounce bottles. Got me enough 100 Pepper Points. It's 10 individual 20-ounce bottles. Got me 100 Pepper Points. Took a picture of the receipt. Now I have this lovely can of Dr. Pepper Fantastic Chocolate. If you're a, a fan <laughs> of this site... Uh, you'll know that I love the mixture of Dr. Pepper and chocolate. I often mix, or I shouldn't say often, but I recommend mixing chocolate milk and Dr. Pepper at a 50-50 ratio, or maybe a 60-40 or a 70-30, with Dr. Pepper being the heavier of the two. Um, also, a Dr. Pepper and chocolate ice cream float is my favorite float. Let's read the ingredients. They're very small. So I'm going to use this fancy card I got in the mail. Uh, let's see. Carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, and less than 2% of caramel color, natural and artificial flavors, sodium benzoate, preservative, phosphoric acid, caffeine, and sodium phosphate, produced under the authority of Dr. Pepper 7-Up Incorporated, 6425 Hall of Fame Lane, Hall of Fame Lane Frisco, Texas, 75034. Uh, the caffeine content in this is 41 milligrams for the all 12 ounces. And it tells me, it thanks me for being a loyal Dr. Pepper fan. Look at that fancy card. I had an unboxing video as well when I couldn't really drink sodas. This is my first soda back. I've, I've been drinking a little bit of Dr. Pepper, a little bit of Big Red every day until it tasted like I remembered it. And we are close enough for me to continue on with reviewing sodas. So let's get on with this. It smells like Dr. Pepper and chocolate. Uh, the chocolate is a heavier curtain than I thought it would be. I figured this would be more Dr. Pepper than chocolate. But there's definitely a heavier chocolate sensation. Hmm. Uh, it makes me... It makes me look forward to the drink because I was a little concerned that it'd be a uh, weak, not weak, but you know, not as, not as bold as they could get. That's interesting. It's, it's good. It's good. Don't get me wrong. It tastes like Dr. Pepper coated in chocolate. I don't know how you would coat a liquid in something, but this is, is it tastes like Dr. Pepper with a chocolate coating. Not so much that they're mixed together, but Almost like they're separate entities. The first hit is the chocolate coating, and then, and then the Dr. Pepper kind of melts through. Fortunately, when it melts through, they do mix a little bit, so you get that really good Dr. Pepper and chocolate mixture. At the end, ooh, each sip's a little bit better actually. At the end, um. They don't quite go their separate ways. The Dr. Pepper lingers a little bit longer, but there's still a little bit of uh, masking of that chocolate. That's good. I mean, that's, that's tasty. I hope you get you. I hope you're able to get your hands on this because I think they did a really good job of mixing this together. If you are not able to get your hands on this, I do once again recommend mixing chocolate milk and Dr. Pepper. It's a delicious mixture. But I think, I think as far as commercial beverages go, they did a really good job mixing these two things together. The chocolate is definitely noticeable. And pairs well, of course, with the Dr. Pepper, because I've been preaching that for a while. It's lovely. It's a lovely beverage. I'm glad they made it. I hope they make more beverages like this. And like I said, I really don't mind um, going the Pepper Points route when it comes to purchasing beverages. That's good. It's not even it's not even overly sweet. It's about as it's a little sweeter than Dr. Pepper, which granted is pretty sweet, but it doesn't taste like 
I mean, it's not cloyingly sweet. And the, the carbonation is about what you'd find in a Dr. Pepper. It is, has a slight burn to it. Uh, small bubbles, uh, fairly intense, but then they die down quickly, allowing to have that smooth flavor. You know what else has that smooth flavor? The SodaJerk.net. There's over 900 soda reviews in one place, over 900 of them. I'm responsible for like 700 of them, but there's 900 there at the SodaJerk.net. Um, all kinds of stuff there, lots and lots and lots of sodas. The SodaJerk.net, I haven't tried them all yet. Ba-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da